Hello, hello. I think we are live. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so excited to, you know, get started our conversation and our preparation for our annual free online workshop that is coming in March, right? Oh my gosh, that's lots of fun. I really uh, love so much this time of the year with this how those preparation until you get into the free workshop is so so nice so now please tell me if you are if you can see me if you can hear me let's just tell me where where are you from you know say hello in the chat so i can see that you you are here with me let me also share this live into our um in our group okay so let me see where i will be sharing this mm. group cartonage fabric boxes <clears throat> can see you patsy hi patsy thank you so much yes yes so glad i love start seeing comments so please let me know if you um, if you can see me very well. I see Patsy's YouTube. Liz is on Facebook. Carol as well. Very good. We have Liz from Kansas. We have oh Canada, Jill, Pennsylvania. Tiny is from Mid Michigan. Oh, you're close to me then. <laughs> New York. Oh, so nice, so nice. Yes, people start coming. It's just eleven, so that's so so nice. We have time to start, you know, talking about this amazing art of making boxes, right? Hey, Deborah, I got to see you here as well, Keen. Patsy, I haven't done a live YouTube before. I don't need to move anything, right? No, 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 Patsy, you are fine. You just, you are just watching. Yes. When we are doing uh, in a Zoom meeting, then it's better for you to mute yourself so others can hear. But this uh, this way here, not I. You see me and you're gonna hear me, but I cannot hear you. So if you want to talk to me, you do that. You comment in the in the uh, chat, and I can read everything here, and I can answer to you. Okay? Yes. So nice. Oh, nice, nice. More from Pennsylvania, Maine. Yes, Wind Rock, Delaware. Oh, so nice. Yes, I see so many uh you know friends coming right names that i used for a long time i see some of them that are new so very good hey vicky glad you made as well brenda good morning from oregon i can hear you just fine perfect very good more from canada andrea and diana thank you so much very good okay so let's get started i have lots of things here that i want to show to you i also want to hear your uh questions hello my uncle gerson is here pastor for the brazil hey oi to that love you <laughs> so glad thank you for coming as well that's so nice very good so our workshop is from March 22nd to 25th, okay? So I know we have a long time from now until there. And that's why I decided to do this live. And I will probably do more before the time because it, 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 it can like, it's a long time, right? It's a long time, but I always have to do this because you see here, we have friends from Canada. I have a lot of uh, members of the club and other followers like, in UK, in Australia, and other other places, sometimes they want to purchase like the kits. So I want to. I always I always like to start the registration prior and have the kits available prior. So we allow this shipping time, you know, <laughs> to get the material uh, overseas. Here in US, you know, materials can be like in two three day, but uh, in this situation, it's more. So I like to have this uh time and also you have time to prepare yourself right to get your fabric to cut your paper if you prefer and let's talk about everything here today so you can um, really understand if you are new to our workshops maybe you would join us in the other years or maybe not i'm not sure so let's let's see here very good let me see more questions here hi uh, um dale from indiana our teacher Hey, D, now everyone's so excited about the cigar box. I'm really excited about this project. 
because it's so unique and so different. And like uh, many years ago, uh, one of my students asked me, oh, Claudia, I would love to make the cigar box, but I don't cannot figure out that lead. I said, okay, let me, one day I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then last year I was, uh, I, I, I already said this for the members of the club in our last Zoom meeting, but I was going to Holland, that is a city close here. I live in Grand Haven, Michigan. And there is an antique shop in the middle. And I, I had looked for cigar boxes and I couldn't find other places. So I said, oh, maybe let me start uh, stop in this uh, antique bo uh, shop because I, I kind of feel that I look at that and I, I, I felt that I, I should stop. <laughs> I was not really looking for the cigar box, but I felt that and I stopped and I went there and started looking and suddenly I found three cigar boxes sitting there and I said, okay, I know why I'm here today. <laughs> so I bought one and that was kind of my inspiration to then create it in fabric. And here is the first important, very important thing. I saw this question already sometimes in our Facebook group and as well. Uh, by email, I have received it. No, we are not reusing the old cigar boxes, okay? If you have it, keep it then. You may be inspired during the process when I'm sharing how we do or how we make our brand new cigar box. You may be insta inspired to cover the, yours. It, it will be a different process, but you may figure out something once you see and start gluing the fabric and you can do it. But that's not the point here, okay? What we are doing is the cartonnage technique that is this. Well, let's start from the beginning then. The cartonnage is a technique that was like originating in France many, many years ago. Like it's a very traditional technique. In the way we do, I'm, a, I'm Brazilian, okay? And I have been living here in the US for 10 years now. So blessed, so happy. And what I'm doing is the Brazilian let's say the Brazilian way of doing cartonnage, because many years ago, a guy from Brazil decided uh, to change a little bit. Like he, he was doing the French cartonnage and he said, how about I change a little bit? And he liked it and he started doing that. He started teaching. So, and more and more people start doing and improving. Okay, so everybody now in Brazil, there's a huge thing about cartonnage. And it is this that I say, it's kind of a Brazilian variation of the original technique. So you will, you will, I will explain everything in the workshop. What is important now for you to understand is that we will not cover a box that is ready to go. Not. We are not covering the old cigar boxes. We will start with pieces of cardboard that are chipboard and poster board that I will show you here in a minute. We're going to cover them, make the box from the very beginning so it's very well finished and very you know durable, sturdy, and, you know, very, very good. So let me see here what else we have. Linda said that she's from Missouri. She enjoy our classes. Thank you so much. Hi, Maria. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you so much from Chicago. Yeah, it should be cold there. Here, kids have no school today. We had, I think, icy roads, so no school. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. Love those octagonal boxes in the background. Beautiful, right? Yeah, that's coming next in our in our club, Donna. Marilyn, you could add a triangle edge that goes from the top to the side front and add magnets to the front in the triangle flap. Top to the side front and add magnets. Yeah, Andrea, I think we can do so many different things. I'm going to share in this workshop just the, how can I say the, the simple, uh, the simple way or the basic way, let's say, and I will give you some options of closure, and we can discuss that. And you also are very free, you know, to also do something different. And if you have any, uh, let's put it this way: if you have any picture of something that you have seen different to close the cigar box, and you want me to explain and try and show just send my email i love you know being inspired and and see and do more of this okay so that can be also an idea then i can i can uh, spread more right good morning from indiana hi rebecca thank you so much for coming 
How is your husband, dog? He, she, he is very good, very, very good. Now, doctor said that he don't want to see him anymore. So far, <laughs> he's very uh, recovered from the shoulder, from the ribs. So he's helping a lot now. Now he can move and do everything much better. <laughs> Thanks for asking, now. Yeah, from Massachusetts, love the ribbon box. Yes, that was another good one. Nice. Okay, so uh, let's let's start here. I want to sh show something for you first, right? Let's start with the uh, what is the 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 workshop and how. Um, how that works so if you have some new people here i would love um you if you have any questions just put in the comments okay that's the best way to go so let me talk about the workshop itself so it is one week i call a week okay we don't have you know tutorials for the full week we have two or three da three days in this case with uh, tutorials but you can see those tutorials for the whole, full week, okay? So it's, we're going to start on March 22nd, and you can watch those tutorials until March 28th. I think that is the next uh, Monday or Tuesday. I, I have to really check this, but this is what it is. This is for the free version of this, right? So actually, uh, the workshop is a week where we have it's free, Everybody can join, everybody can watch and make the project. So it's so full of energy, good energy, because I always be, I'm, oh my gosh, so inspired because really we had like thousands in the last two years making the same box. And it's so amazing to see how different with the different fabrics, different choices everyone uh, uh, pick to make that box. And just for being out together and connected and gluing and making the same kind of process is, oh, it's so relaxing, so, so wonderful, so full of joy that I, I always like cannot wait to decide what is the project for the next year, right? So here, let me show about, we started the workshop in 2020. So in 2020, the workshop was for this box here, Akedi. I don't know if you joined me in this one. Let me know in the comments if you join us. So that was in 2020, it was an open box with dividers. And we also had the notepad cover. That was back in 2020. Then last year, we had a box that was this one here with the magnet closure. Okay. And it closed like this. So we have a partial lid on the back and the rest was here. So now let me share the project of this year that is our uh, cigar box, right? And now I need to change my camera so I can see better, okay? So here is the, here is the box that we're gonna be making this year that is the cigar box. And I will show you, start right from the beginning sharing and showing samples because this is the, most important thing today, I want you to be inspired to see fabrics. I want to give you uh, suggestions of coordinating fabric because this is also a question I received so many times. Okay, so here was, okay, I have some stuff inside, but actually, so the lead of this year is different, is right, like if you know from the past, the cigar boxes, Okay, the lid closes inside of the box, so we have everything flat here, flat here. So it's completely different than, for example, this that we made last year, where the lid is um, all around, right? We have so many different um, ways of building boxes. So that is the, the traditional, let's say, right, cigar box. And here's my adaptation, my revisiting for the project from the using fabric. So this is one idea where we have a very busy coordinating like design pattern fabric for the lid and all the rest, I just put one coordinating that was like for that one. So let me share other combinations of call of fabrics. This one here was like um, a more classic, let's say, right? Fabric, so I have, I just put pick two colors that I like together coordinating and so it's this is more classic we always have to think a little bit what we want to 
but like in the fat in the box right and then or uh for who i want to make this box because they are wonderful gifts uh i love this so much take a look at this one this one is really so i put in this to be more like um i i i noticed that most of the cigar boxes that i found they kind of have the same fabric all around so the paper uh, sorry the same paper so i said let me make something with just the same fabric right and i make everything outside with the same fabric and i put a cute scissor take a look here just in the uh in the opening spot right with just a piece of thread right here. I really love this opening because actually this box can be opened without, like the old ones, they don't have anything to open, but this is just to make it easier, right? And make it more cute. <laughs> also here then another coordinating fabric. So I just use a little bit there and all around, okay? Well, so later I'll, I'll show uh, later, I'll show you two other ones that are different, completely different fabrics, completely different idea. But for na uh, this now, it's just the, I'm going to say, the normal quilt cotton fabrics that I made. And I want to talk a little bit about the fabric itself, because this is really important, right? And then let's talk first about fabric. And then we go to the cardboard that we need and all the other materials that we need for that so you can really be prepared okay and keep putting your questions here in the comments so i can answer to you uh if you oh i forgot to say but if you are seeing this in the in our facebook group cartonage fabric boxes okay if you are seen there uh make sure you click in the video so uh if you comment i will see because if you just you know if you are in the, the facebook group and if you just uh how can i say you just comment below that that video that is shared there i cannot see and this is is just because of the program that i use to be at the same time on facebook and youtube uh, if I go live in the Facebook group, I cannot see the name of the person commenting. Yeah, I really love to see the name. So that's why I go on Facebook page and then I share on the Facebook group. So just, just for you to know. So if you are in the group, click in that video. And then if you comment there, I will see. Okay. And then you go or go directly to my Facebook page, Colorway Arts, then you see easy. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I love that little scissor charm. I, yeah, so unique. I have some that are silver and those that are brass. I don't remember where I purchased them. Probably on Etsy or Hobby Lobby. I'm not, not really sure. But the, there are so many little charms that can be added to this box. Okay, so keep your eye in your home because you probably have some. Or next time you go to a craft shop, like take a look what you have in little charms, right? That you can add that way to the front of the box that just adds, uh, add a, a little detail. Yes, thank you. I didn't know that I had to click on it to comment. Lizzie, now I can see uh, read your comment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'm... Thirsty. Colleen saying, excited to make the first box. That's fantastic. Uh, welcome. You are in the right place. Okay. Because I'm really, you know, uh, I'm really passionate about this technique. I love sharing how to make the box. It's so, so uh, wonderful. I so enjoy my time. Uh, designing, making the boxes and sharing as well. And I hope you like my instructions and can follow. And then another thing important about the workshop before I go and show and talk about fabrics is the way the workshop go. I received many, also many questions uh, saying that people are working on those, those days. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. That's not a problem because the tutorials are not live like this here. I will do some lives this way so we can, you know, connect, interact, I can answer your questions, we can, you know, have fun together. But 
the workshop itself, the tutorials of the workshop where you will be actually making your box, they are inside my school. They are recorded for a better quality. So you will start following that video. If you want to stop, you know, to go pick a water or coffee or go to the bathroom, wherever, you stop, you can go back, you can forward. So it's, it's much more comfortable for you. So you can do it in your time and time you are, have available and much better for the instructions. Okay, so they are not live. You have your time to do it. And again, in this free workshop, you have the full week to watch those videos. So in the first day, they the tutorials are divided in three days. The first day on Tuesday, we're going to be, I will explain a little bit about cartonage. I have important tips prior to do anything because then you can use the tips during the, the workshop, during making your box. And so in the first day, we're going to be making actually making the box, just making the box itself. On the second day, we're going to be covering outside. And on the third day, we're going to be making the lid and finishing everything. Okay, so this is the parts that we're going to do each day. Oops. This is the part that we're going to be doing each day in the workshops, in the tutorials. Okay, and then we will have live videos for questions and for other important tips and things like that, okay? Are there videos, Dell is asking, are there videos or files available about the types of closures that work best? Uh, not yet, no, I didn't do, I just showed the, the samples that I have, okay? And uh, that's it for now. But I may do another live video here before the workshop and I can bring, options and show so you can be prepared before good question good question thank you the box with the bobbin fabric would be perfect for my sewing group i gave the desktop organizer for christmas okay that's wonderful yeah i love that fabric a lot like it's really i think it's a new fabric out there so it's really good for depending what you are you know putting inside it's so unique right Okay, so that's the way the workshop will work, okay? Three, uh, the three days with the tutorials and you can watch in your best time. Very important, if you didn't uh, register yet, if you are a member of the club, you don't need to register because this is also part of the club as always, okay? So you don't need to register. But if you are not a member of the club, you want to join us in the free workshop, you have to register. And the link to register for the register is in the description of this live. Okay. Also, it's easy for you to go in my website, colorwayarts.com. And uh, right there, once you go to the colorwayarts.com, the first thing you'll see very big is the picture of the cigar box and free workshop register. So click there in the register. And you have to keep your password on hand because it's in my school. So as it is inside the school for a very good organization of the content, so we have every video separate, you can find very easily, you can ask me questions, I'm there to answer. So it's really uh, for good experiences there, but then you need your password, okay? So once you register, take a note of the password that you choose, because next time you're gonna go there, if you log out, right? Next time you need to log in, you will need the password, okay? And if you don't log out, that's okay, but some, some devices just log out for themselves. <laughs> so that's that's there. Oh, Andrea, thank you so much. Colorway Arts. Oh, uh, it's missing part, Andrea. Colorwayarts.com. Okay, so there's the place for you to, to do that. Okay, good, good, good. So now let's see about the fabric. Uh, or how about you, you talk, uh, let's talk about chipboard first, right? And then you go into the fabrics. Because um, Jill is asking, now is missing an S, Andrea, colorwayarts.com. Thank you. Jill is asking how often the Cartonage Club opens? Um, usually three times in a year, okay? March, so right after the workshop, during the workshop, I'm going to be opening registration, so I will explain everything. So it's March, and I will open another time about July, probably, and then after the National Cartonage Day in September, 
and that's it. Okay, so now I would say it's really a good option, but I this is not for us to talk right now. Now let's focus on the free workshop because there's lots of joy and fun, and you're gonna have more than time to experience this, to try and see if you like or not, and then after that we're gonna talk about the club. Okay. Well, so what do you need to make this box? As I said, we will be making from the very beginning. So we need all the pieces of the cardboard, right? Now let me share here my, uh, my table, right? So here are actually the pieces that we need. And we also need some craft paper and copy paper that I don't have here with me. But this is what... Uh, what my chipboard is, okay? So all my do-it-yourself kits are like this. This is 100 points uh, chipboard. This is the thickness. This is how we talk about and we um, we find when we are purchasing them, okay? Points, this is the way we call it. So it is 100 points. This is the one. And after registering, you're gonna go inside the, the course and you're going to have a supply list with all this very detail with links for you to go. There's a, now I have one, uh, one link easy for my Amazon recommendations where you can find the cheap art if you want. But we also have, for a stress-free, what I say, and a rare love to recommend, we also have the do-it-yourself kit, okay? This is the do-it-yourself kit with all the pieces already cut in the sizes needed, so no stress, you don't need to cut, okay? And it's available in the shop. You also have everything inside the course for you to know. So what, how is this? How are you going to be buying this, right? Or you buy it in the do-it-yourself kit and you receive exactly like this, already cut in the size that you need for everything, or you need to purchase the chipboard itself that here is one sample. You can purchase this on Amazon, for example, 12 by 12. And then you measure, and I have a video inside, inside the course, there's already a, vid a video where I show how to cut the chipboard very well, okay? I have samples of some tools that you can use. And if you are cutting by hand, it's really, if you are cutting by hand, it's really, really, really important that you watch that video and you be safe when you are cutting. Okay, so if you are, uh, what I like to say, if you decide that you will join the workshop and you start with this and you cut all by yourself, your homework is going inside my course, watch the video about chipboard and be prepared. So next week on February 15, I will put all the dimensions that you need, okay? So I will say chipboard, one piece, um, that size, or, or the, I, will, I will give you the, the size and you go measure and cut, okay? And have everything ready for the day. Because in the workshop itself, on the first very day, we just start gluing, okay? So we have all the pieces ready. So if you are starting from this, cutting everything by yourself, your homework is watch the video for the chipboard and cut everything very safely and keep there to use in the workshop. And if you are starting with the do-it-yourself kit, okay, you just, you are done. <laughs> you just <laughs> prepare your fabric and in the very first day, you're going to use the do-it-yourself kit because all pieces are there. So that's the chipboard, okay? This one is the chipboard, 100 points. I just received a question this morning about if I, I would recommend, for example, other boards like a cereal box that I can glue a lot of layers. I don't recommend that for, I don't recommend cereal box for this, okay? I want this box to be sturdy. I want this box to be very well finished because, I mean, the time I will spend to make the box, the fabric, the glue, everything they're gonna be using will be the same. And then if you use like a cereal box or something that your box will be a little uh, ugly at the end, <laughs> you will not be happy, but then it's not the cartonage itself. And yes, is the material you are using, right? So really consider that. If you are in the US, like this do-it-yourself kit costs less than $20. Shipping is five or six or something like this, right? So 
it is not something very expensive. And I think the, the experience itself is so good. If you are purchasing the material separate, that's okay. But then if this is a 100 points is hard to cut by hand, I have to tell you that. What I also know some of people that are using that, they buy 50 points cheaper. They cut twice every piece and they glue together. So, for example, if you were with me last year when we did for the National Day, we did the small, the small composition box with cereal boxes. We glue the layers of cereal box first. Remember that what we made. So the same thing here. If you start with the 50 points, we have to glue them together, and then we're gonna have at the end the the what we need. Now, more than this, we need poster board. And what is poster board? Poster board is uh, is a white white board, like okay. And I like to uh, the best thing for me to explain is like when you go to the schools, okay? Teachers use this a lot for posters. They put all around the school. So it's that white board, big board that you can buy, even in Dollar Tree, okay? So you can find Walmart, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. There's a lot of places usually. Some places uh, sell in smaller pieces. Uh, I think the 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 more uh, common one is a big one. And again, this is uh, the one question that I receive about poster board that is hard to tell, especially from other countries. What is the thickness of the poster board, right? Because cheap board, it's one hundred points. What is the thick or 2.5 millimeters, okay? And what is the thickness of this one? I, you will not find, at least here in US, I couldn't find so far, a poster board that comes with a number that is related to that. This is whatever thickness easy for me to find in other places. It's very hard. They, they don't tell us very, very good. And the good thing of this is that it's not that really important, that thickness, okay? I don't want something so thin like uh, copy paper or cardstock is too thin. And I don't want something very thick like another chipboard. So uh, what I found here that can help, for, and actually what I did last, and before I use this one that is a little bit more thick now, I was you. I always use the one that I purchased in Hobby Lobby. It was a little thinner, but works perfectly. Okay. So if you purchase the poster board on Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, you are fine. It's that one. Okay. If you want to compare, I I let me put here. If you want to compare, I tried this morning to see if I have something. So if you are in another place, for example. Here we have the cardstock, okay? Cardstock 100 uh, pound. If you if you glue them together, let's say, just for me to tell you, you not do that because it will be a lot of work. But just for you to compare, if you close, so you have double of that. It's basically the same the same thickness of my poster board. So if you are in another country, pick a cardstock that is 100. A hundred pounds, or uh, I don't remember in in GSM how how much this is. But actually, pick something like this to fold. You're gonna have what I use here. Okay. As I said, unfortunately, I don't know exactly what is the thickness, and it's difficult for you. And if I know, it's not that easy for you to find the same one. <laughs> so, well. Andrea is saying that yes, the Dollar Tree is the cheapest for poster board. Okay. Also, she said that love the sound of that chipboard when we knock it. Isn't that fun? I love it. It's so thick that sometimes we when I we do that, it looks like wood, right? It feels like wood. When I used to when I go to the craft show, the quilt shows, and they have lots of boxes and things, and then people pass and they knock on the boxes like Oh, is this this wood? I said, no, this is chipboard, this paper, but it's so thick that it really, it really very well uh, finished, right? Veronica is saying, hi, Vicky. Your kids are worth every cent. Beginners, this will really get you on the right foot with cartonage. Don't worry about cutting, just have fun gluing. 
Yeah, thanks, Vicky. I, I really, this is my, my, uh, my intention, I think, my, my thought as well. Especially if you're a beginner, start with the kit because then you're going to feel the technique that is just, you know, gluing and putting together and having lots of uh, no words about being straight and neat and all those stuff. And then later, if you really like the feeling of gluing and doing, and you don't want to use kits anymore in the future, and then you want like to, to cut by yourself, that's okay. But at least you know that you like the technique. Because some people, I'm going to tell you, some people are going to hate cutting and you decide not to make the box because they don't like cartonage. It's not that they don't like cartonage, they don't like cutting paper. It's a different thing. Like <laughs> how people say like that using fabric and buying fabric are two different hands. <laughs> like let's say like this. So cutting cardboard and making cartonage the boxes are two different things. Maybe you don't like cutting, not that you don't like cartonage. So try, you know, to do that. <laughs> okay. Is poster board as thick as cereal box, Shilpa? It can be, it depends, because cereal box, we have some that are thin, some that are thick. So if they're too thick, I don't like it, okay? So you have to, to feel that it's not too thick. Walmart has nice poster board, good. I use the heavy poster board from Walmart, nice. Do we need to buy special tools or do you have two kits? Uh, Brenda, thanks for your question. We have the only, for this specific box, okay, for this specific box, the only two that we need, actually, the only two different tools will be the corner tools, okay? And they are sold separate because there are two different ones. We have this small one that is the corner miter tool that is just for cutting corners and having... What I mean by cutting corners is to have a very good corner in our projects, okay? And this is wonderful to make boxes, albums, and so much more things. So this one is just to cut the fabric there for the corner itself. And this, this is another version that is, um, I call two-in-one, but we can do much more with them with it because we can use as a spacer, we can cut the corners, we can trim around, okay? So it is a really functional one. So you will not regret if you grab, grab the, at least this, okay? If you grab the kit, the kit and the tool will be, you know, very nice covered for a good, good experience. We also did a post a uh, plastic spatula. I don't sell it separate in my shop so far, but I have in a kit with spacers, okay? We don't need the spacers for this box, but if you want to make any other project in cartonage, the spacers will be so helpful and then you get also the spatula. So this is so the things that are more different. Well, other materials are in the inside the the course already when you register, there's a video showing all the materials. What else you need? We need rotary cutter, we need um, masking tape, we need um, a brush, a roller paint, that can be this one that I sell or so many other out there, just choose whatever you want. Oh, and the glue, right? This is very important. So glue all from Elmer's. This is the glue we're gonna be using. I use the, I have been using glue, glue all since I started here in US, in Brazil, where many, 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 many people does cartonage. They use, of course, the, it's not the same brain, but it's so, it's exactly the same glue. The, the, the composition is the same. Another name, but same composition. So this is a white PVA glue. It works fantastic for all our projects, okay? What is important for you to know is that it's not the school glue, okay? Elmer's has another one. Oh, I think they have other kinds, right? But Elmer's has the school glue, and it's not that one. I want glue all from Elmer's, okay? Nice. Now let's talk about fabric. Let's see, is there any other question? Any other question here? Another thing that I will ask you, if you already have done cartonage and you like making those boxes because it's really fun, 
you can invite your friends that are that uh, want to try it because this is the best time of the year to try cartonage you know I have a very good good tutorials for free for a week so that is the best best time for do it so send the link for registration for your friends you know share on facebook you can share this live in your in your facebook as well share the video in your on the youtube you know spread spread the news help uh get more fabric lovers knowing because Carnage is not so fun, so how can I say well known here in US, and it is so fun, so fun, and it is really the great, the best opportunity to learn. Okay. I didn't realize about the glue difference. Yes, there is the school glue and the glue wall. Those are the most common ones that are like side by side when you are purchasing them. So the glue wall is more for crafts, for more because it's more strong. The school glue is more a little bit less strong, more used for classes, for school and things like that. Okay. Six weeks to get ready. Yes, we have a lot of lots of times. Now I want to talk about fabric, right? Let's talk about fabric. I, I just who likes fabric? Say yes, 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 right? Yes, who likes fabric? I love fabric so much. And then it's time for us to see a little bit here. Because if you you may if you register you watch my video from the materials you know that I I ask you to avoid some fabrics and uh, why do I ask you to avoid some fabrics? So let me share here some options uh, because I don't want you to be in the <laughs> workshop and uh, in the middle of the box you discover that your fabric is not like good for that and then you be a little mad with me in the, the middle of this stuff and I don't want that, right? So let me share here my table with some different fabrics. Not different fabrics, but like just the way uh, I like to, to show to you. So, okay, what I'm always saying to really avoid, avoid like, you know, uh, how, uh, how can I say if you want to uh yeah avoid run away of the the shelves in this in the shops where you see the kona cotton fabric okay and these are i don't know if it's kona cotton but those are very plain solid color fabrics please run away <laughs> okay run away don't purchase this don't use it because in cartonage it's hard for us to to like if you accidentally have any mark of glue in this fabric you will see from miles away and you cannot clean very well okay it's just something that is not good so i'm gonna give you some options so for example if you want if your fabric ask let's say you have this colorful fabric here i always like to pick one that is really colorful and let's let's see here for example this has a huge design so when you have a huge design that we ask mostly for a big box because then you may not see the full design in your box so i i almost don't use this i'm using now for a very special project that we're gonna have in the local retreat this year in may so i'm designing and using this because the box is big and i can use big designs but for smaller boxes, look for smaller designs. I will share here. But I just want to talk about how I choose my fabrics, right? So, for example, I have this very colorful fabric right here. I, I would love, like, to put together with something like this or even this one, right? So I usually pick one of the colors and I search for a fabric that is really coordinating and will bring up my design better. So, of course, this would be good, but I know it's not good for cartonage. So I don't use it. You go keep looking and you will find something very similar, but that has some shades. Can you see here? Those shades make the whole difference, the whole difference, you see, because it helps us to use the fabric better. You will not mark the glue. We can clean if you need. So it's much more better experience. Okay, so in this one, for example, I would choose this. 
Or if you want, let's say that other color that I share, show here, also to coordinate, then I have here like this one, even better. Can you see we have a little bit more, the shade is a little better. So I always look for something with little shades or something that can go together. So those, for example, are really good. If you want something very contrasting, like put together and go. I, when I go to the quilt shops, the fabric shops, I pick the one that I really like and I go all the way in the shop until putting on the side, until I'll find that, oh, that brings the, my attention to this one. I really like those together. So this is what I'm gonna be doing, okay? You can use three for sure, but two are more than enough, right? Uh, another fabric that you can, uh, let me show the other one here. So in the same idea of choosing something that can coordinate. So for example, this one here that I use in the front, like here on the top of my box, okay? The peacock fabric. So I can use a coordinating orange, for example, right? That is really, so what colors I have here? I can choose orange. I can choose this, um, this kind of red right here. So put on the side and see what you feel with them together. Do you prefer this? Do you prefer with orange? Or maybe you prefer with the blue one, okay? Because some people are more like towards the blue or the orange. I kind of <laughs> go a lot orange through the orange, right? But it's really personal choice. That's why I don't put fabric in any of my kits. It's your choice, okay? So I love those right here, okay? Another thing that can be done is using batiks. If you have batiks, if you are a beginner, I do also recommend if you want, if you like batik, batik is so nice to work in cartonage. I really love. So for example, here, two batiks together that, you know, make this so special, so special, right? Sometimes you can use batik with another fabric, but usually if you put two batiks together, it will be even, you know, more beautiful or more, you know, uh, pleasing to your view, but it's, you know, completely up to you. Oh, here's a black fabric that is has some shades. This is more like batik, but it's, you know, way better than using this, okay? The kind of cotton black, uh-uh, no way. It's gonna be so frustrating. Uh, what else? Oh, here I have another thing that I want to share, <clears throat> uh, talking about colors. Because for example, I, I just have a small piece of this fabric I used, I made some boxes last year, I really like it. So for example, let's see this fabric, how I would choose a coordinating for this fabric. Because we have here a lot of purple and we have a lot of green, right? So what I do, what I told you, I pick a piece of fabric, I put on the side and I see, okay, how do I feel of using this purple with this fabric? Do I like it? It is contrasting enough because sometimes I like more contrasting. So I here I don't have so much contrasting, let's say. But if I decide to go, for example, with the green, then look at how this, you know, bring up, brings up this, this fabric better because I have a lighter one here. But again, it's completely up to, up to you, okay? And you can even use the tree, right? I cannot decide between the two because I love the tree. So use the three of them, right? And this, we always say when we are doing our boxes, we laugh together and they say, okay, hard decisions now. Let's pick our fabric for that part of the box. <laughs> okay, so, and you, you see that once you start making your box, you may change your idea in the middle because we start seeing the box and start being building, build it and then say, oh, this or that, and then you change, right? So nice. <clears throat> do you ever use washed fabric to remove that sizing? No, Andrea, I have ne I never, never in my life washed fabric. Uh, and you don't need to iron as well. No, you don't need to wash, you don't need to iron. To be very sincere, if I pick like here, all my drawers be <laughs> behind me are fabric. 
if I pick one that is here for I don't I don't know forever, it's so 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 that that I notice that that wrinkle is very hard. If I have patience in that day, I'm gonna go and iron. But other than that, the process itself will make that wrinkle go away and it will be very good. Okay, so you don't need it. Nice. Okay, any question about that? Let's talk about how much fabric we need. Yes, what is the dimension of the final box? Dimension of the final box uh, I have here in the, in the kit is nine inches, nine inches by five and a half by two, one eight, okay? So not, basically nine by five and a half. How much fabric we need? Well, it will really depend how you want to put your fabric, where you want to put your fabric, because um, I made some of my boxes with two coordinating fat quarters. That means like I kind of used kind of the same amount of one fabric of the, in the other one. So for example, inside of the box, some parts with one fabric, the bottom with another one, and then outside, like if I mix a lot of the fabric, one fat quarter each can be enough. If you want to really be like everything outside one fabric, then I would say pick two fat quarters of that one and just two small pieces of one other one, right? If you want that fussy cut, like just that part of the fabric on the top and the rest doesn't matter. So, you know, it can be a little different depending how you place your fabric on that part. So if it is a, a fabric that you love so much and you don't, I mean, it's hard to find, <laughs> okay? Just pick like two fat quarters when you are choosing that. And then if you have more, you can always make a coordinated project later, right? I don't like to have it less than we need or be stressful cutting because I don't have enough, okay? Nice, hope this helps. <laughs> What else I have to tell you? Let me see. Oh, I have another thing about fabric that I want just to finish here because it's even more different. And uh, maybe some of you would, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about how to pronounce your name. Is it Tin or Tine? But yeah, measurement of a fat quarter. This is a good, 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 good question. Let me change my camera here because I forgot that some people are not familiar with fabric or are not here in the US maybe. So a fat quarter is what we can buy here in the US, okay? We purchase in the shops, usually in the quilt shops or a lot of place like here, they buy, uh, we buy, they are already folded like this. And what, actually what they, they do is, we have one we yard of fabric, okay? So uh, actually half yard of fabric, they cut half yard and they cut in half again. So this is a fat quarter. When we have this, like it's half, let's open here. Uh, it's too big for me to show, but it is not too big. Like it's half of a half yard. I don't, let me see if I have here my measurement. Some people can help better. I think it's 18, um, 12, no, it's more, it's more, let's say. So here's 12 and here is to almost, almost 20, 21. I think this is not really, really, but yes, inches, okay by oh here's oh, here's 18 by 20 it depends how big will be the yes 18 by 22 sec thank you so much uh, so this is the complete size of the fat quarter okay some of them maybe people cut a little bigger a little smaller and uh but that that's it it's half of half yard okay and if you are in other country and you purchase in meter instead of yard, okay, uh, it will be a little different. But let's say half yard, uh, half meter, if you buy that, 
you will have, and, and then half of that should be enough or a little bit more. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yes, thank you for all the information there. People is helping us with the dimensions. Perfect. Thank you so much. I remember when I came here to US 10 years ago and I went to the shop and I started, you know, I would start teaching there. They also told me about the Fed Quarter and I said, oh, what is that? Because the name is a little different, right? For someone not familiar, Fed Quarter. <laughs> but that's what it is, right? And it's so, so common, like every shop will sell fat quarters it's wider because of the original width yes that's carol that's what i was thinking some fabrics are uh, wider than the other ones so when they cut half yard and then half yard, half again some of them can be a little wider than others thank you for helping nice very good very good what else i want to share oh i want to share a different fabric that we can use but before that i, I let me drink water Oh, Dorothy is saying that the, the Fed Quarter can also be smaller if by online. So don't assume I got caught with that. Uh oh, yeah. So if it is, I always I always prefer like if I really love the fabric, I buy half yard, one each. So I know I have enough and I can do some, you know, some uh, extra projects, coordinating projects after, like a, a cover for a book, a cover for a journal, you know. So it's always good to have something else together. So I don't get like uh, too short, but I have extra to do something and I can work, you know, more relaxing during the process. So this is a tip for me. Most of our cartonage projects uh, are not too big. Okay. Of course, that we have, I have many kits that we need more than uh, fat quarter or half yard but it all depends on the size of the boxes okay nice so now i'm gonna share two other boxes that i made that are very unique and different and you may want to try but i want to give you some tips just prior okay because i i was in brazil like the, the end of the year last year to visit my family and i brought some fabric from there that is very popular in brazil it's called cheetah fabric and it's very popular for many reasons it, like it was like the first fabric that came to the country well, in the beginning when the portugal was you know uh starting the colonization and all those stuff it's a very colorful fabric but it's not a quilt cotton it's a very thin fabric and let me share the box that i made with that so i decided to bring some and play with that. So here's the box that I made with the cheetah fabric. So there are some particular, how can I say, some specifics about working a fabric that is not quilt cotton. I can give some, uh, some options during the workshop. I can tell you something. Of course, you will not find cheetah here online or, <laughs> or whatever, right? But because of Cheetah, because I was in our Zoom meeting last, last month in the, with the members of the club, I was sharing about the Cheetah. I was sharing what I brought from Brazil. Uh, a member of the club started, more than one actually, they started, oh, this reminds me of FinSec, right? And you may know what FinSec is, you may not, okay? But this is the feed sack. So she sent me the feed sack and I love it so much learning about the feed sack. And I found online other options. That, oh my gosh. And this is also not 100%, not uh, quilt cotton. So it's a little thicker, right? So in this, what I just want to tell you is that if you want to use, maybe you have feed sack at home like this. This friend, this member, she had a collection at home. So it really depends. Those who knows what FitSec is and like it, the vintage way, the vintage look of this box, know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what FitSec is, that's fine. Just go to the quilt shop, buy your favorite fabrics, and that's it. But for those that may have FitSecs at home and like, what I would recommend is inside we're gonna use a different fabric because I don't want feed sack inside and feed sack outside. This will be too thick for this box. The lid may not close. Okay, so this is really important. 
So uh, and this is not just for feed sack. If you want to use a different fabric, this is more thick, okay? I would say put it outside, not inside and outside. But we're going to talk all of this during the workshop. But it's, uh, you know, can be well, one idea in case you have, right? I have some, let me show here what I have. The feed sack. So she sent me this one. She sent me this one. And then I found online that I want to do something as well. I, I thought this idea is so nice. I really like it. So this is another one. And this is another one that I found online. Take a look. So, so different. So vintage. So I don't know. Right? So it's just another idea. Because like, I'd say, the cigar box itself is something from the past. Like, it's very popular, very traditional here. Feed sex. What I learned from these members is that they used to do uh, bags for chicken uh, food, right? So they would go to the places to buy chicken food inside the feed sacks. And so colorful and beautiful. I love the, the story behind it and everything. So I had to, I, I said, okay, let me try it. <laughs> okay. So this is just something different that you can think about. Andrea said, interesting that feed sack fabric is a little thicker than modern fabrics. It is, it's a little thicker. It's more, it glues very well, wonderful, but we need to be careful and use just a little of glue, okay? So some tips and tricks of different fabrics. I will talk in the first day of the workshop before we start actually gluing, okay? Because if you have a different fabric, then I would go. But for a more, like I say, easy experience, quilt cottons are the best ones, the easiest ones to work. Um, any of those that I show here, you know, the design that you love, shoes through or three, or even the batiks are also wonderful. Okay, we have plenty of time to be prepared with the fabrics. And now let me see, what is the fabric in your kit for this class? There is no, Sarah, I don't put fabric in my kits. My kits only come with the cardboard. You choose the fabric that you want. That's the point, because there are so many wonderful fabrics out there, right? And uh, would be so difficult for me to add some fabric. So there is no fabric included in the kit. You use your favorite fabric, okay? That's why I'm sharing and showing all those stuff here so you can be aware when you are choosing your fabric, okay? From my oh yes, Andrea. Yes, they told me that as well. That get fabric in the early 19s from buying flour and sugar. Yeah, oh my gosh. That's so unique. How they, they decide to do so beautiful designs in and in, in flowers and everything to put food inside. That's crazy. <laughs> but so nice, so nice. I love it. Okay, so let's do that. If you didn't register yet, the link is up or down, I don't know, depending where you are watching this. If you are a member of the club, you don't need to register. But if you are not a member of the club, you need to register to be able to watch the and, and follow us in the workshop. So go and register, www.colorwayarts.com. Okay, register there. Share with your friends so they can share, they can uh, participate as well if they want, okay? Once you sign up, you go inside the course, watch the videos there, all the information. If you have any question, you can comment directly inside the school and where we have all the sections in the course. Or you can send me an email, go to colorwayarts.com and contact us, okay? You will find me and I will be very glad to answer to you. And if I see questions that come more, more frequent, I may do another live before our day, right? So we can discuss more and talk more about this. Let me see here. I see some questions coming or some comments. If I find a large print that I want for the top, like the peacock, what's the approximate size of that size? Wonderful question, Brenda. And I have a, I have a ruler here. So if you want, if you want a particular 
design or a panel that I love using fabric panels. If you want something like this, you have, yeah, basically what I said there, right? So it's five and a half, five and a half by nine, but you need extra because you need to fold this over. So I would say at least 10 inches wide by eight inches okay at least this for the fabric that goes here the same for the ins for the outside and inside in case you want to put inside as well okay so let's put this way 10 inches by eight inches okay yes then we have the we have the extra to fold around and have a good good finishing right i like the fact that i can choose my fabric yes why is the fan of the peacock? The peacock uh, is timeless treasure fabrics, the peacock. They have big prints and the smaller prints, and they really like so colorful. I will have some fabrics in the future to sell. Once I have my new local shop open, I will sell fabrics as well, but not for now. Do you extra for the hinge? Do you extra for the hinge? uh this dimension i i gave you 10 by 8 it's considering the hinge as well okay i like being able to use some of my stash yes i know you know we always have those fabrics at home that we don't know and i love reading sometimes people like inside the community uh so they they said oh i didn't know what to do with this fabric i have for so long so many years in my drawer now i found the, the right box i feel so happy it's so nice to see that we find you know that particular project that you know just matches just goes so well with the fabric that we have that's so nice looking forward to making this box our kids are wonderful thank you elizabeth okay 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 very nice very nice okay so uh, I think that's it for now, right? That's the starting preparation because I think now you have to get prepared deciding if you're going to buy the kit or cut the pieces by yourself and what fabric you're going to be using. Those are the most important. So again, supply list is inside the course. So just register for that. If you didn't, tell your friends, be prepared. And any question, I'm always here to answer. Okay, so let me know. And uh, I will see you soon right because i mean we look and say okay it's just at the end of the march but the way things are going so fast we're gonna just blink and we'll be the day of the workshop right <laughs> it's amazing okay my friends so nice to be here with you if you don't have any more questions well i think we can end for here but if you have questions we can hang out a little bit more that's i'm fine okay that's no problem. Let me see if I miss some of the comments. I don't think so. Okay, very good, very good. So let me see if I can, let me try something here. I never show a comment, but I can. So let me see what is the comment that I want to share. Okay, so here, let me see how it goes if I put like this. Oh, okay, Andrea shared the the website that is www.colorwayarts.com. So if you didn't register yet, you can go to the website colorwayarts.com and register. Okay, and <laughs> very good. Yeah, it's working. Like a like a little child here learning how to to use all this technology as well. It's so nice. Good, good, good. So thank you so much. Love this time here. Love to share this with you. Be prepared, okay? Because we're going to have lots of fun together very, very soon. Oh, and uh, before I forget, we have the Facebook group, right? Facebook group, Cartonage Fabric Boxes. It's the place where we share pictures and during the workshop where the place where we mostly interact during that time other than inside the school. Okay, so if you didn't join yet, you can join our group as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Looking forward for the workshop. Me too. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Okay, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Happy going. <laughs>